Hello and welcome back. I've got this uh, Xbox 360 camera today. I just bought this camera. I was just going um, on the road and I saw it um, at the window of the second hand shop. So I bought this Xbox 360 camera. I thought uh, it's amazing stuff and it was so cheap. Uh, I could not believe. Uh, now I've got this camera. Um, this camera can do uh, so many stuff. You will see many of the advanced stuff at the YouTube. Uh, People are doing all sorts of things like um, using it as a 3D scanner. Um, <clears throat> but today I'm going to use it as a webcam. Uh, I need a webcam and I believe uh, this is an advanced stuff. Why not uh, convert it to a Windows uh, webcam? But uh, the problem is it's not as straightforward as you think. In terms of hardware, first of all, you need uh, the converter because uh, the plug itself i just i just cut the plug this is this is the plug and this is not the usb plug uh, as you would see as you can see uh, this is not the usb plug so you need to convert it to usb now there's a trick behind it um actually it, it is usb but additionally it has got uh, one uh, one more cable for 12 volt power supply for, so for usb and use the plug it has got four wire as you can see uh, there is four wire um, here in this usb plug so this uh, black and red is obviously uh, uh, powering and um, the ground uh, powering is like a uh, five volt uh, five volt power uh, not in output actually so uh, five volt power output and the ground and these two cable is for the data i believe the white is for the plus data and uh, uh, this blue is for uh, this blue is for minus data. I don't know um, if you can see it properly. So uh, these are the four cables um, the USB pin has got. Now um, this one, this one, the Microsoft 360, it has got additional one more wire. That wire is a brown color. So basically, uh, I cut this. It was it was uh, like this, but I cut it from here. So as you can see, it has got uh, how many wire? It has got four wires. Uh, it has got five wires actually. It has got five wires. Uh, four of them are identical to the USB drive, as you can see. Four of them are identical to the USB drive. And now the fifth wire. I am trying to show you. I've got some problem with my focusing. So the fifth wire. The fifth wire is a brown. So there is there is four wire. So you can see there is four wire, and the fifth wire is is uh, is for uh, plus twelve volt. So the four wires, um, if I if I go uh, one by one, uh, they are like a white one um, is for the data, uh, blue one is for data as well, uh, the red one is for uh, plus five volt output, and the gra the black one is the ground, and the brown one is for plus twelve volt output. And this is the R thing, I believe. Now um, we arrange the converter. Um, well, we make one USB. I just connect this USB like this. I'll connect it here like this later. Le later on, uh, the color will be matching each other. Like a red one goes to red, and the black one, uh, black one goes to black, uh, blue goes to blue, white goes to white. So um, I will connect them, and for this one, I will I will make one um, plus twelve volt and ground supply. Um, So, plus 12 volt and the ground supply. And this is for the standard USB. So these four wires, as you can see, these four wires are the standard USB. And this brown wire is the plus 12 volt supply. This is the hardware part. Now, the challenge um, during the software part is that uh, most of the tutorial I found YouTube is for Windows 7 only. Now, uh, I will try to do it for Windows 10 and um, I haven't done it yet. Obviously, I will update you in this video. Hopefully, we can come up with a solution where you can use your um, Xbox 360 as a standard webcam, also as well as uh, 3D scanner as well. Uh, Let's discuss the wiring diagram more in details. As you can see, I have made a functional wiring diagram the way I set up my cables. So from left hand side, as you can see, I started with USB connector and the red one obviously is the power cable. 5 volt power cable, white one is a data cable, green one is the plus data cable. So there is two data cable, white one and the blue one, blue or green, whatever you say. Uh, 
and the black one is obviously the ground and and you can see there is two ground uh, and uh, two ground they would work as like a parallel ground you can connect any of them and right inside uh, you see there are one more extra wire uh, that uh, brown one is the plus 12 volt wire that plus 12 volt uh, later on the plus 12 volt later on i connected with the 12 volt power supply the power supply i extracted from my old desktop monitor and uh, it is from like a ac main supply to the uh, plus 12 volt so the ac is the input and plus 12 volt is the output so in real life the wirings are like this as you can see from this side uh, so this is the usb cable so this is the same this is the from usb side and uh, this is a 12 volt power socket i i extracted from a old monitor and this is the charging cable 12 volt power supply cable for that monitor so 12 volt is coming in connected with the 12 volt I don't know whether you can see the brown cable with this brown cable it is connected and it is also connected with the common ground now the common ground is uh, this part is is a bit tricky to see it was like a mesh oil um, just just uh, coiling up the whole oil thingy and uh, a few of the cables they are extra they, they are same as a two volt power cable they, they look different but they are the same power supply so there are three wires the same power supply so this is 12 volt and this is the ground 12 volt coming in connected with the brown wire and then the mesh wire is connected with the ground and data cable is connected white data cable is connected with the white data and brown uh, sorry the blue one is connected with the blue usb data cable and the plus and the pink is the same as plus five volt power supply Again, you can see the surplus mesh. This is a common ground. I could have just connect uh, this common ground um, with this, but it is really not necessary at the moment. The other end, I just want to show for an explanation. The other end of the wire, this is the 12 volt um, DC power charger, uh, power supplying um, cable. Uh, this is the 12 volt power supplying adapter for the for the monitor I had but it is now used this is the other end of this plug so if I just connect it and it will power up the whole thing now let's let's connect it So I connected this. As soon as I connect the USB cable with my PC, you will see that there is a like LED status light will come on. As you can see, it is powering up. Okay. Now, as it is powering up, Windows has uh, discontinued the uh, driver support for Xbox 360 cam. It is an old technology, old product, so there is no longer Windows 10 is compatible with it, with the official release of the software. So I went through this tutorial this really helped me this guy this guy did a tremendous job he uh, gave all the instruction you you just have to follow straight uh, whatever he says and um, the one only one setback is that um, this tutorial will give you uh, whatever i was doing but uh, uh, he was showing that he could uh, easily use it for a skype webcam but uh, I followed all the instruction it was not working but maybe my next tutorial you will be able to find whether um, this is this is like my installation fault or whether it is with this this tutorial fault and uh, obviously there are other releases as well um, you can find various release in 
github and other sources um, i will update you at next video so le let's get started the outcome uh, as it is powering up so I'm, I'm just gonna put it there and see what is the feedback from other side well now as you can see i've just powered up the whole thingy as you can see um that camera over there the xbox 360 is LED stress light on and is, it is giving me real-time feed hopefully you'll be able to see the real-time feed with me now i'll be able to see my skeleton as well hopefully it will show the skeletal as well then as you can see i'm playing playing the simple shape game as uh, as on the camera as you can see So I'm holding my camera, it is showing one of my hand is blocked. Now as you can see I'm getting the depth image as well. The frame rate I'm getting is 31 frame average. 30 frame per second and it is truly tracking all of my body gesture as you can see um, obviously my lower part of my body is not visible so it is assuming that i'm sitting on my chair uh, but it, it's not um, and uh, left hand side is the depth camera middle is the skeletal view and it is truly tracking all of my movement and in this way you can design quite a bit of um, other thing as well you can uh, design many exciting projects uh, with the hand tracking gesture now i need your support dear viewers if you like my videos if you think it is useful get engaged with my project make something similar to this following my project and uh, let me know your outcome also don't forget to like comment subscribe and share um, thank you very much i will see you at next time